I'm excited that the future of education is evolving. We are shifting from the focus being teachers and what they teach to the learners and how they learn. Everybody is able to help each of their students find their own unique path. They're able to look at students with their own individual and unique identities. The pandemic really taught us how we can connect in different ways. It pushed us to be creative and where our creativity is, that's where learning happens. New educators are going to bring a new energy, um, new techniques, new research into the classroom, something that we can all learn from. I'm really excited about where we can go with the collaboration with teachers. We are planners as teachers, but I love and thrive in ambiguity. And I think the uncertainty of the future of education is what is most exciting about it. So no matter where education goes in five, 10 years, a successful classroom is really always gonna be grounded in, in honesty, in truth, in trust. I still think everything that's great about education is when two people are connecting, a teacher and a student, right? That's the indispensable relationship in this whole process. People are looking to us now, you know, teachers are being heard. It's time to take all of the research and data that we have and make school a worthwhile, pleasurable, engaging experience for all students. I think that we should focus on the importance of civil discourse in the classroom. We've got to support students to be able to find and use their voice so that students leave the classroom with the ability in school level to participate as citizens in our world. We're all going the same direction. We all have things that we're trying to learn together. But the more that we can make it flexible and personalized for students and for teachers, the more successful I think we're going to be. I'd love to see just this expansion of us learning from each other and, and using each other to, to build our strengths. Really telling us what they feel that they need in education. And I feel like some of these technologies that are coming out allow kids to operate in strengths that we didn't even know existed. And so we can offer a seat at the table to students. So we can say, hey, your education is not something that is done to you, it's something that is done with you. Having the students figuring out our process and using creativity and curiosity. They want to know the whole world around them, they want to understand the world, and they want to connect with the world. This experience reminds me of the power of teachers, the power of teacher leadership, and the power of voice for the future of education. 